Hi and welcome to High School Physics Explained, my name is Paul and this is going to be a really quick demonstration of showing you how a magnetic field develops around a current bearing wire. In this setup here I have a wire, a copper wire that is connected to a power supply and also a rheostat so that allows me to control the amount of current flowing up and down my wire. And if you look closely, you can see two compasses. And those compasses are currently pointing in the northerly direction. And as you would expect, they are pointing in the same direction. But let's see what happens if I turn the current on. Now there's a slight deflection, but as I increase the current by decreasing the resistance, you can see that the deflection starts to increase. quite significantly and I'll just turn it off so that we can not allow the power pack to overload itself. Now why is it deflecting? Well the magnetic field due to the earth of course aligns these compass needles in that direction. But as I turn it on what we're having here is a magnetic field that is circular around the wire. You can see it's just switched off on me and the needles were pointing in the opposite direction. Because it's circular, you would expect in one sense that the needles would point at a tangent to those circles. So one in that direction and one in that direction. As you can see there again, when it switches back on. But due to the fact that we have an overriding magnetic field, the amount of deflection that occurs will be also due to the overriding magnetic field of the Earth. So if there was no magnetic field of the Earth, those needles would be lovely parallel to the wire, but because of the magnetic field of the earth, they're only moving a certain amount. Now, the direction of that magnetic field can be determined by using your right hand grip rule. So my wire here is coming from the positive terminal, so my current is going down, and using my hand like so, switching my hand to show the direction of the current, you can see that my fingers arch around that direction. So that is the direction of the magnetic field uh, due to the wire and that of course is the reason why it flicks the other way. If I were to switch the current in the opposite direction, let's see what happens. You can see that the needles now are pointing in the opposite direction because of the fact that now my current is going up and so my magnetic field is going circular around like so. Now if you were to get the exact position of those needles, you could, by looking at the angle, determine the strength of the Earth's magnetic field because the angle is determined by the strength of the field due to both the wire and the magnetic field. So for example, if the angle here is 45 degrees, then the magnetic field of the wire going either that direction or that direction will be equal in magnitude to the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. But it's a bit rough to do that in this situation. So there you have it. The current bearing wire has a magnetic field. It's stronger towards the wire and weaker the further we are away. I hope that's helped you understand the, the, the nature of a current bearing wire's magnetic field. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Well, I hope that helps you understand the concepts. Thanks for watching. Please remember, like, share and subscribe. And by the way, drop a comment down below if the video particularly has been useful. And finally, consider supporting me via Patreon. The idea is to develop resources and equipment to continue to teach physics at a high school level. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.